let me move over this way just a little. I know the cats were banging up on the camera there. All right, give it a couple minutes. And, uh, yeah, do some coloring today with some pan pastels. Well, I have to get the cats out of here if they start jumping up. I haven't picked colors. I did pick a couple different pages. I'll wait and see which one I want to do. Give us a little, little brightness over here. <laughs> Hi, Fernando. Hi, Ashley. Hi there, Juanita, i.e. Littlefoot. <laughs> how's, every, how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing today? <clears throat> Anybody working on anything fun, creative, doing anything? Hi, Almeras. <laughs> Almeras, Janet and I, and Denise, too. We had the biggest kick out of your butterfly flo floating out, <laughs> floating out of your card. That was so fun. Hi, Jen. Uh, work and lurk. That's fine. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hi, Molly. Anybody popping in? Um. The, uh, my name's Dee Dee. I stream every Monday and Wednesday, 8.30 a.m. Eastern, and it's a chat show, so don't email me. <laughs> Hi, Nanette. Hi, Janet. Good to see you. And um, so good to see you. Remind me to tell you something later, Janet. I forgot. Uh, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll talk later. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Molly's doing a color by number. How are those? Is it kind of like the paint by numbers, Molly? Are they? Do you have a picture of one on IG? Uh, hi, Animax. Uh, let's see. Nanette, Pamela. Uh, how you doing, Fernando? Fernando, did you ever get, I sent you something, you, you, didn't I send you something that you won in a giveaway or something? Did you ever get it? I forgot what it was now. <laughs> Some collage, was it? I don't remember. Um, but I wondered if you got it. Uh, let's see, here for a short time, off to New York City to see Hamilton. Oh, okay, Pamela. We'll have fun out in the big city. Have fun out in the big city. Denise was out in the big city a couple, what was it a couple months ago? Well, no, it was a month ago, maybe. She went to New York City. Uh, let's see. B, Rachel. Uh, there and back again. Good to see. Can't say. Got to work. Okay, well, work out. Work out, girl. Work out. I don't know if I follow you. I'll have to go see if I follow you, Hermit's Tale. I don't know if I follow you. Let's see, Riri, so, checking, checking, so I was talking to Denise, she might come up on Saturday, she didn't get a chance to come up today, but she said she might pop into chat, uh, today's a work from home day, and uh, so she said she might pop in, uh, let's see, I think I've said hi to everybody. So yeah, we're gonna color in Galaxy Girls, Christian Glorious, Kristen Glorious Inc. And um, this is the book that Xandra sent me, and I did color that mermaid picture, and she did get it. She did get the mermaid picture, and um, so I sent that to Xandra, and uh, so I thought we'll we'll do another one out of this book. So let's see. I don't think I'm missing it. Riri, who else? Am I missing anybody else coming in this morning? Uh, okay, yeah. Janice said, everybody, check your quality. It defaulted back to 144. Yeah, make sure that your little wheel setting is at 720 or 1080p. Make sure you have live chat clicked above your chat window. Let's see. Hi, Julie Topaz. Happy, wonderful Wednesday. If I finish not a book by Carrie Smith posted. Ooh, okay. Yeah, Carrie Smith has the funnest books, doesn't she? I know. I gave all Cameron, well, some years ago, he took all of my Carrie Smith books. I think I replaced one of uh, the color. This is not a, uh, let's see, what is it? Uh, 
something um uh, tear the book up whatever it is in color i think i rebought that one but he took all my carrie smith books at one time i might have one or two sitting around here hey r let's see what are my cats doing okay so i might have to if i have to go run out and see the anyway we'll see I didn't get it probably because of Christmas. It'll take longer to get here. I don't remember what it was I sent you even, Fernanda. Was it a, a stamp set or a collage something? I don't remember. I don't remember. <clears throat> my heater's kind of got this upstairs. Let me turn my little fan on here. Let's see. Took me over a year to finish it, but so much fun. Highly recommended. Yeah, I'll have to go look at it, Julie. Have to go look at it. And Tina won't be here today, Janet. I haven't seen Pacola yet, but I have. Uh, you and uh, Julie are here by yourselves <laughs> right now because Tina has an appointment, and I haven't seen Pacola yet. So, uh, yeah. Oh, there she is. There's my little Snapdragon. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, so I, I let me go ahead and do a little flip through here. Let me zoom in one. And I haven't picked any colors or anything yet, but I did pick two. I'll, I'll do a flip through. And when you get to the two with the yellow, those are the two. Hi, Rebecca. Those are the two that I picked to uh, consider for the day. So um, this is the one where I uh, colored the mermaid for Xandra out of it. And it is posted on my IG. Sure hope Julie's awake then. Ah, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, the, oh it was, so it was collage pieces. Okay. Well, it was just an envelope. I hope it gets there soon, Fernando. Oh, my goodness. So, um, yeah. So, these are based off of the signs of the Zodiac. So, this is one I want to do. I want to do either this one or this other one that I have the post-it note on. And uh, let's see. They're all so pretty. All the girls are so pretty. Or this one. <clears throat> Hi, Julian. <clears throat> Hi, Dan. I'm sure I'm missing some people coming in. Dawn. Uh, so those are the ones. So let's see. I don't know if I want to do this one or this one. I really like her hair, but I love the space of this one. So, I don't know. I kind of like this one because of her hair. I don't know what color I'd do her hair. But I think I'll do a dark skin girl today. We haven't done a dark skin girl for a while. And either I can do either one of these dark skin. So, I do too. I love this hair, right? So, I'll probably do this one. We'll, do, we'll go with this one. So, again, I cut them out. Get a straight line here. And the other one, you know, if the one I sent Xandra is, you know, when I cut them out like this, I will um, I'll mount them on a piece of black cardstock. I'll probably trim it down because this is a, a European size, so it's a little taller than eight and a half by eleven. So I'll trim it down just a little to put it on a piece of black cardstock, and I'll put it in a protector sheet and put it in my um, put it in my uh, what do you call it a three ring binder. Oh, there's Hubster. Hang on, I'm streaming. What's up? Yeah, Denise was just talking about coming down on Saturday. That was it. So you can call. She was going to call you. All right, bye. He said he just saw I called, and so he was calling me back. 
All right, let's see. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. Oh, I will show you. Let me see. I'll post this later today. I finished the pink page. So we did this on Monday. So I finished the pink page. I put some stars, put some gold stars and some pink stars on it. I wrote some more information about pink. I wrote some things that are pink along the side. And there's still room to write along the edges or, you know, I can always put, a, you know, something on top and write more. But I'm just kind of keeping these kind of simple. I haven't finished the purple one yet. Um, I'm not quite done with purple. But uh, it's getting there. So this is my year of color little journal. So I did yellow and, and yellow, orange, and red are posted on Instagram. So there's yellow. And I got two pages for each. So I can still do another yellow page. And there's the orange page. My year of color. And we're going to color. <laughs> there's uh, red. And those three are posted on Instagram. This one is not posted yet because I still want to do a couple more things to it. And then pink, I finished it yesterday. So I'll probably post. Um, Hi, Starla. Thank you. I'll post it on Instagram later. And then I'll post later the, in the week. I'll post the purple one. So, and hopefully I'll finish this and we'll post this today too. Uh, all right. So let's see. Hi, Barb. I was on the stream very late last night, but I said I needed to get to bed. I needed to be. <laughs> I stayed up too late last night. I was at Jonna's. Sister Woman, Jonna, Preppy Crafty Girl, she streamed last night for about three hours. So, yeah, I was I was at Jonna's. Hi, Hedgy. Let's see. If I miss anybody, come on. Hi, Kim. Here come the cats. I'm probably going to have to lock them out because once I get out the pan pastels it's like you know no holds bar <laughs> all right so what I'm going to do is I'll probably move the tools on the other side and the colors that I'm going to use on this side so I can keep the cats away from them and I'll try to remember to show the book every now and then and y'all know when I do uh pan pastels I also do details with color pencils so um yeah, it was. Julianne was there, too. Julianne G. Yeah. And, um, okay, so let's see. So, no, babe, you can't come up here. I know you want to. I know you want to. You can't come up here. So, let's see. Let's get a few colors out, some skin colors. And I'm not sure what color hair. Let me think about her hair. I don't know. Hmm. Do I, I always like to do teal and purple hair. You know, but um, all right, here comes it. No, babe, gonna have to get it. Have to get down. Um, so I don't know. Ugh, see, I'm already. Cats are already distracting me. Let me get my little uh, needed eraser here. So it's at the point where I can. Uh, yeah, cloud invasion for sure. Um, so anyway, as long as uh, you haven't sprayed it yet, you can erase. So if you make, you know, a mess. <laughs> You can uh, clean it up and you can erase and make highlights and things with the kneaded eraser with pan pastels. I always do teal hair, though. Uh, I always do. I did black hair, uh, Molly, on the one I did. Let me show you. Uh-oh. Where did I? Did I drop my eraser into the trash? Oh, my gosh. It went bouncing, and I think it bounced into the trash. There it is. <laughs> Let me see. Um, let's let's look again at the one I did for um, Zandra. Let's look at it again. It's been a couple weeks. And here it is. So here's the one we did for Zandra, the mermaid one. So she has um, she has teal and black in her hair. And uh, it's on Instagram if you want to see it close up. But um, and she did get it. And uh, I was so happy I made it. Uh, yeah, I, don't know. I, I will do a shadow effect, you know, like an ombre type effect. I just don't know what colors. So this was kind of a lot of teal in this one. So I kind of want to do something besides teal. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe just blue. I don't know that I've ever done just blue hair. What do y'all think? Pink and white. 
burgundy purple i don't think i've ever done a blue just blue like you know sea blue what do y'all think sea blue you know, like i'm thinking i'm liking the blue and then let's see i'll probably need some pink and i don't know what color lips and stuff um maybe pink oh no i'm looking <laughs> let's see i'm just looking over my colors see what's inspiring me and i don't know if i want to do uh like a black background like um well i don't want to do a because she's going to have dark blue it's going to have to be a light background maybe i'll do the light blue in the background and just light blue highlights let's see just looking over everything i'm kind of liking the blue because i don't remember the last time i did blue and maybe instead of pink lips maybe we'll do let's get out some nice red and some maybe some cheek hides lips and cheeks with red okay we're gonna roll with this i might have to pull some more colors but for now we're gonna go with this and here's my little toolbox i will zoom in a little bit okay we're, oh, there it is <laughs> uh, okay so pan pastels have these uh tools there's three different art three different ones here i've got uh, no, let's see. There's one, two. I think there's four different ones. One, two, three. Yes, four different shapes of the uh, tools. And once you have the tool itself, all you have to do is replace the little tips. Okay, and you can get these on Amazon. And it and it I I do recommend getting the pan pastel sponges and tools from pan pastel. See, I use these. I don't use these to work with. I use them as a as a mixing palette and um <clears throat> they're, they're not like your regular makeup sponges um they're they're different they're they're kind of i don't want to say they're oily because there's no i don't think there's oil they're oil in them but they have that kind of an oil feel the pan pastels are not chalky and dry i don't like that feeling on my hands of chalky and dry these are not chalky and dry um, they they run some what between six and eight dollars I think a, a color and you can buy them and they have the caps on them you can buy them individually or you can buy them in sets like I have you can buy the skin tone set the portrait set there's different sets you can buy or you can buy them individually and just buy a couple to see if you like it but they last forever I'm telling you uh, the only one let me get out white. The only one that I've even used down in any sense of the word is the white. And where's what I put this? And uh, other than that, I, I just really haven't even touched any of the colors to any extent. They just last forever. And if you think about like a marker, like one Copic marker is uh like seven or eight dollars and i know you can buy refills for them but um these last they last a long time and i do need a paper towel and baby wipe so let's get that keep my hands clean and then i just clean the little tool off on a paper towel you can wash these but i've never washed any of them I just I just clean them off on a paper towel and move on to the next color. I've never washed any of them. I wear them out before I, I before I need to wash them, I think. Especially this one, the fine point one, that wears out pretty quick. You can get a couple of pi pictures out of it and uh, then you're uh, it wears out. So because they are thin, let me put that one back on. All right, so I'm going to clean this one off. So you see I just I just wipe it on a paper towel to get it clean. I think the last color I used with this one was the black. So that's a little bit more saturated on there. Okay. And I have a, a baby wipe to the side here to try to keep my hands kind of, kind of clean. Let's see. Hi, sick girl, Teresa, T Tommy, Joe, 
anybody else you don't you don't you don't even wash yours well that's saying something jan if jana doesn't wash hers all right so let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit more make sure we're nice and bright and i think that's pretty good right there until i start doing pencil detail so we'll leave it here until i uh, get it all based in all right so let's see here all right so let's go ahead and start with a nice and somebody did text me or message me or comment to me wanting to know the colors that I use for the dark skin girls. And the thing is, is I don't use really one color. I layer everything. So I might start with this color. Then I'm going to go in with this color. Then I might mix those colors and put on some of this, you know. So it's like I can't tell you. I'll tell you the names of these colors. But that's not like I just use one color. And that's true of any of it. I'm not using just one color. I'm mixing and blending on these sponges. But this one right here is Red Iron Oxide Shade. And this one is Burnt Sienna. And so each of the colors, there's four. There's the, the shade, the tint, the regular, and the dark, I think. Let me see. Let me look at the back of one. And you really should keep them in their order. I, I don't, though. So there's like, for instance, permanent green. There's permanent green, permanent green tint, which is like the permanent green with white. Then there's the permanent green shade. And then there's the permanent green. I don't even see it's not in my, it's not in order. Uh, where's the other one? I was trying to get all four because there's a tint and a shade. The shade has black. The tint has white. Then there's the regular color, and then what's the other one called? It's just the plain. Oh, let me see. There, none of mine are in order, which is not good when you're trying to explain it to somebody. Let's see here, these oranges. So there's there's orange, orange shade, orange tint. Oh, extra dark. That was the fourth one, extra dark. So you have the regular color. You got the, the tint, which is with the white. Then you got shade, which is dark uh, with the black, and then extra dark. So that's what the four are when you have the four colors. So, and I don't, I, I never look at the names of anything. I just pick the colors. I think I don't have no idea what these colors are, really. I mean, like, uh, all right, this is permanent red shade. This pinky one is red iron oxide tint. So this is the light to this one. And um, then there's burnt sienna. Then I got the blues here, ultra dark, ultra blue, extra dark, permanent blue shade, and ultra blue tint. So yeah, they're not in, and they're not in order in my. I need to straighten them out in my box and put them all back in their rows. Yeah, but I, by the time I'm done with the show, I'm just like I just want to put them away. <laughs> Don't care if they're in order. <laughs> okay. So, and uh, another thing, I'm showing you the names of these. Do not do that over your piece. Don't turn them over and look at the color and then drop little bits of the pastel on your piece. The other thing I tell you is make sure that you don't, um, you know, I talk while I'm doing this. You don't want to accidentally do a little bit of, I don't want to say spit on it because you don't really do that on purpose, but I'll show you here on a. Let me get a blank page here. So like, for instance, um, let, I'm going to use this color. So here, look. So here's what the color looks like. Now, I'm just going to put a little piece of spit down. <laughs> look what happens. See that little bit of dot right there? And there's no getting rid of that. You can erase forever, and that is not going away. So don't get any wet spots on your piece. Just saying. You'll have to turn it into a freckle or a mole or a star <laughs> or something. All right. So I am going to start with, and I'm going to just put it out here on the sponge. And so like, see, I'm blowing on it. I don't want to spit on it. You got to be careful. All right. And I'm just getting rid of the excess where I've turned over the pan onto the piece. All right, so let's see. Hi, Maseki. Hi, Darlene. Anybody else I miss? Okay, so I'm going to start with just a layer of a layer of this color. There's her face. Here's her neck. Then in between the hair there. I think it needs a little bit of something else, a little brighter. Let's add a little brightness to that. There we go. There we go. 
So I'm just going to lay down a, a, a base coat. Right. Now remember, you you're gonna you're able to erase. So if you get any place you don't want out of lines or anything like that, you can erase. And one of the nice things about doing a base, whether you do it with pan pastels. Um, paint, acrylic paint, acrylic wash, um, or a watercolor or whatever you use as a base. It just, it makes it so much quicker to do a page. And again, not that you have to hurry or anything, but uh, when I'm streaming, I am trying to get as much done as possible. Let's see. Put it in caps if you're talking to me, guys. If you don't mind. Whoops. I popped a little piece out there. And again, I'll probably end up cutting this off because just to make it a little bit smaller for uh, to fit in, in a in a binder. Okay, so now I've got the base done here. All right, so now like let's say like right here I went over her shoulder, so you probably can't see it, but you can erase until you until you spray it. And I use let me get my Grumbacher here say a couple things and, and I know people go you already said that last time well you know new people different people watch I don't want anybody to use the wrong stuff I use the final fixative the Grumbacher matte I can't stress this enough matte there's a shiny a gloss do not get the gloss it looks exactly the same as this except it says gloss don't get the gloss <laughs> Grumbacher matte um final fixative and the reason i get the final fixative it to me it smells less than the workable fixative and by the time i'm going to spray something i want it final anyway even if i go back and add another layer of something which you can do after you spray it you can work with pencils some, uh, on top of it you can add more um pastel on top of this but you, if you add more pastel after you put the final fixative, you have to final you have to fixative it again. Okay, so you have to. Uh, can you? No, that's what I'm just saying, sick girl. It won't erase after you spray it. I mean, you could probably maybe erase it a little, but you're not going to get it back to a white piece of paper. So make sure all your erasing is done before you use your fixative. And I do only spray that outside. I go out on my porch. Um, and it's in the 20s today, but I will go out there um, <laughs> and um, and spray it outside. You don't want to spray that in the house. OK, so I'm just going to kind of blend this in, get it nice and smooth. All right. All right. I'll keep working on her face here in a minute. I'm not sure if I want to have I'm going to do blue hair, so I'm not sure if I want to do brown eyes or blue eyes just because i'm working on blue hair i don't know all right so now i'm going to clean this off get some of the brown it's just on a paper towel here i'm just cleaning off the tip here and now i'm try not to make a mess okay so i got my sponge on there so let me go back with my eraser and get off all that excess And keep a baby wipe handy to keep your hands clean. Okay. Um, yeah, my teacher voice, Rachel. Teacher voice. <laughs> okay. So I'll do her lips and her eyes in more detail in a minute. I just want to get her kind of based in. All right. So now I think I will go ahead and put a coat of the light blue. 
where's this? Let's turn the sponge over. It has blue on the other side here. So I'm going to do a little bit of the light. I'm going to do the, go ahead and do kind of a medium blue here. Something like that. And just do the whole, all the hair. I just want to get a whole base. That's going to be a little gray, I think. I might have to get out. Let's see. That, that, this sub uh, blue is a little gray. Let's see if I have a brighter blue. I want this one. I'm going to go with this blue. That one's a little, can you see how much grayer that one is? So I'm going to go with this blue. Let's just see here. I'll put some out and I'm going to add a little bit of the light just to lighten it up a little because I want it kind of in between those two colors. Let me go ahead and erase some of that because now I got it too uh, gray. Okay, so let's go ahead. All right, let's see. Hi, Debbie Bruce. How you doing? You really need a kneaded eraser when doing this because it will clean. It'll clean up everything. Okay. So, and I'm not really worried about going out of lines because I'll just erase on the edges. Or I might end up doing, you know, another um, color, like light blue behind her. Because all the edges here of her hair is going to be dark. So, right now, I'm just trying to get a, a flat base coat on. And that's how you start with just a flat base. And then you can add more shading with the pastels and you can add <clears throat> shading with pencil, which I usually do both. Let's see. I think for me the hardest part is trying to keep my hands out of the out of the way, <laughs> keep it clean, you know, keep the keep keep the area, you know, not uh, contaminated all the way around. But again, you can erase, so don't get panicky when it does that. When you get out of some of this, I can do uh, pencil, extra detail. But one of the nice things, and if you saw it on the mermaid one we did for Zandra, is how you can do so many nice little swirly things and fade things out, you know. I don't want to go quite that far down there. Right. So just constantly trying to keep the area around it clean. And if you have something on your hands, you're going to touch it and it's going to go on there. So that's why I have my baby wipe next to me to try to keep wiping off excess dust off my hands. Um, hi, Kathy McConnell, Kalora Becky, Linda Rince. Um, I'm sure I'm missing people coming in. All right. So we got a base. So now I think I'm going to go in with, let's go in with the dark blue. I'm just going to go straight with the dark. And I want to... Then you start slowing down when you start doing more detail. And then you can pick out highlights with, an er with the eraser. And sometimes I'll use the kneaded eraser. Sometimes I'll use the little... Um, battery operated. All right, so... If you have any questions, put it in caps and talk about what y'all are working on. Oh, and I found a, a, a YouTuber that does art journals. I, I don't think I'd ever seen them before. Or if I did, I only maybe saw one here or there. So I really liked her, and I know y'all will too. And I did copy and paste it, so it's in my 
<clears throat> it's in my clipboard, so I'll put it up there in a minute. And uh, I'll have to go watch her. And because uh, I, I really like, she seems really sweet. She does a lot of nature stuff and art journals, and she does walks out with her grandkids. And and I don't, I've only watched maybe, let's see, probably less than ten of her videos. And she's streamed a lot. I mean, doesn't stream. She's uh, done quite a few videos for a few years, and I didn't go back to see how far back she's streamed. I mean, I keep saying streamed, made videos, but um, here, I'll put it in here. So while I'm doing this, if y'all want to go at least, let's see, if it, did I put it in there? I think that's it. I think that's it right there. Did it give you a link? Her name is Bert, Bert not Bird Song. Oh, what is it? Um, a bit of bird song, a bit of bird song, I think is her, her channel name. And, uh, I really like, she does junk journals and she's just pleasant to listen to. And I, and I said, I'll have to share this with everybody because y'all will like her. She's like, you know, the kind of journaling and stuff that we like. So I'm sure if any of y'all have watched her before, let me know. Because she's new to me. I mean, I hadn't come across her. I think when I was watching Job, Job's journals, I think she was in the sidebar. You know how they do the sidebar recommendations. I think she was in a sidebar recommendation. And that's how I found her. Because I don't think I'd seen her pop up in my feed anywhere. Oh, thanks, Kathleen. You watch Birdsong, uh, Rebecca? Okay. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I know, there you go. Seven years of videos, woohoo! <laughs> I know, right, Juanita? You'll like her, Juanita, because she's like nature, and Juanita's a nature, like nature stuff, too. So, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so I've watched a few of her videos. Um, but if y'all, you know, go go watch her. Tell her I sent you over there. If you haven't uh, subscribed to her yet or didn't know about her. Uh, Barb watches her. Well, y'all keep kept her hidden then. I never heard or seen any of y'all talk about her. Y'all kept her well hidden. <laughs> I, I've never seen y'all talk about her. I would at least went and checked her out. So, uh, <laughs> or maybe you have, and I just didn't see it, of course. <sighs> Remember when you're blowing away the dust, try not to spit on it or you'll, you'll, uh, you can't, uh, <laughs> you can't get rid of that little dot when you cover it up. <clears throat> I think it needs a little dark there behind her ear. We're working on it here. Some fabulous artists via YouTube sidebar. Me too, Julie. That is so true. Let me click on that. That is so true. I I don't mind the recommendations because I find, you know, you can, <laughs> I think I've told y'all this. One time I was watching uh, somebody and I looked over and I said, oh my gosh, look at that art journal. That looks like it'd be a good one. And it was mine. <laughs> and I said, oh, I impressed myself. <laughs> It only happened that one time, but uh, I have found some good ones uh, in the sidebar. <laughs> Uh, if y'all want to put in some names of people that y'all like and watch, put them in there. Um, you know, recommend everybody. I don't mind recommending and promoting people. I just don't like spammers <laughs> coming in here just to promote their channel. And you never see them again, you know. That kind of annoys, well, that annoys all YouTubers. But, um, <laughs> you know, I'm good at promoting people. But, you know, don't uh, don't come in here just to do that. Come in here and hang out and watch. and chat and you know be a part of the fibs the friends in the box 
but yeah, I, I saw a recommendation and it was mine. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel, you've impressed me at least twice. Thanks, Rachel. <laughs> Hi, Jane. Um, yes, a bit of bird song. I know that's what her name. That's the channel name. Where'd it go? Where'd you go? Right there. A bit of bird song looks great. Yeah. And she has a, like, I think she has like a she shed. I haven't, I don't know that I've seen it from the outside, just from the inside. And it's really, it's packed. I mean, it's like, let's call it cozy. And uh, it's just, I like, I don't know. I just liked her. You know. So anyway. If y'all have uh, other YouTubers that you like, you know, I know you can't put direct links, but you can put the name, put the exact name in the uh in the chat oh, i'm getting there guys i'm not trying to hurry though i mean there's not a whole lot on her so i can kind of take my time here i'm trying to kind of take my time all right let's see and again i can go back in here with pencil and get even darker which is what i'll do i'll get even darker areas but the the thing about doing a pan pastel base and acrylic wash or watercolor whatever it is that you use uh what is nice is it, you get that base down and you're not you know this, to, if i'd done this just just this in color pencil it would be some hours you know to get it this smooth and this flat <clears throat> so all right so let's see i think what i'm going to do now i'm going to kind of wipe off some of the dark blue here Try to be gentle on this pointy tip because it, it, it these do wear out pretty quick. All right, so now let's see what I can do here with just the light blue. And again, I could be doing some of this with pencil, but I'm trying to do as much as I can here. And you can erase, which I'll probably do some of that too before I go and uh, spray it. But if you want to remove, get highlights, you have, and with your eraser, you have to do that before you spray it. Okay. go and i'm gonna it's gonna be much darker around the edges all right so hi colleen too many youtube people to mention <laughs> i know well mention one or two you know that's what i like that a bit of colleen you and kathy probably like her too if you have, didn't know about her a bit of bird song her channel i really liked it okay so let's see i think i'm gonna have her have light blue eyes just because then they'll they'll stand out and i'll put the rest with pencil i just put a tiny maybe just a tiny bit of more blue and the rest i'll do with um what do you call it a uh, pencil all right so i'm gonna have her have red lips and i'm not sure what kind of makeup i'm gonna put on her yet It's got a little bit of the blue still in there. Let's try to clean that out. I'll go back in there with red, pen, red, red pencil because I wanted her to have nice red lips. All right, so now let me go ahead and um, put some shading in her face. All right, cleaning this off again. Going back to my little sponge on the other side here, back to the other side. And again, see, look, I'm getting dust and stuff on here. It's real easy to do, especially when you keep it so close to your work. You don't have to do that when you're working on something. You don't have to keep your pastels like right up next to it. But I'm doing it because I'm streaming. I want y'all to see it. But, um, you know, or every now and then take your baby wipe and just kind of, you know, keep your area clean. See, it gets dusty. And let's see a little bit more up there. Oops, I bent it. Ah. Okay. All right. Um, 49 dragonflies. Yeah, I've now I've watched, I think I follow 49 dragonflies. Um, let's see. 
Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Oh, let's see, and I'm just sitting here cleaning my uh, kneaded eraser. You can just clean it by, you know, stretching it and folding it. And when it starts getting hard, then you know it's time to get a new one. Okay, they last quite a while though. Um, let's see. All right. Um, oh, let me show you. I'll do it with the uh, with this just to show you a little bit of how you can you can get it back to white. I don't really want to get it back to white, but I'll just do a little bit just so you can see. You can get your eraser in there and get it really just back to white so you have nice highlights. And you can do this with your kneaded eraser too. It's just a little... I'm being careful when I spit. <laughs> like I said, you don't want to get a little piece of, of water on your... See how you can get it really highlighted? Okay, I think you get the idea. The idea. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. Hi, Hut. How you doing? Comic Book Hut. He's working on a project that hopefully he'll release the information soon. Good to see you, Hut. Um, if you like snark, Hut's right up there with Janet. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, so now let me... Um, I like Hut. I just like him as a person. You know, I don't always agree with his videos, but that's okay. We don't have to agree with everything everybody says to like the person. Um, okay, so now I am going to go in with some darker. And I think I might even, let's just see here. Let's see how dark that's going to be. I think that's going to be dark. If I need any darker, I'll go in there with pencil. So now I'm just going to go in here and throw some shade. And I'm going to put her eyebrows will be blue as well. I'll do that with pencil and probably some of her eyeshadow. So let's just see what we can do here. Let's make a nice little shade around her hair and her jawline. And just blend real softly. Take your time. And see, you can just blend so easily. See how softly you can get that shadow? Some places you might want a harsh shadow, like right along that, that hair right there. That might be a little bit, you know, more stark. But you can get uh, nice shadows. I'll put some blue eyeshadow on her too. Oh, lurking and multitasking. I dot. Yeah. <laughs> I saw you say that on one of your videos the other day. And I went, Hunt must have watched my show. Because I say that all the time. I'm not screaming. I'm just talking loud. I, although I don't say screaming hot, usually I say I'm not yelling. I'm not yelling. <laughs> Same difference, but you know. Uh, let's see. I don't want to get that too. Let's blend that out a little bit. <laughs> but I thought that was quite amusing, hot. Quite amusing. And uh, again, I'm a little lighter on her chin. And, you know, you can uh, get in here with some shade and then erase out or, you know, wipe some out or however you want to. I want to just take my time on the sh throwing the shade. Like right there on her chin. I've got too much. I want that lighter. I want her chin lighter. So let's lighten that back up. You can always go back and add more of the other color if you get it too light. I am going to have some highlights, but not yet. Not yet. 
All right, let's go back. There we go. Same thing on her nose. My caps are not... <laughs> yeah. Dorothy, are you ever going to get that fixed? You've had uh, cap issues on your laptop for years now. <laughs> I don't think you've ever... You ever going to get that fixed, Dorothy? Let's see. All right. So something like this to start with or to con like mid mid work here. <laughs> A little bit too much back here. I don't know what kind of background I'm going to do yet. I'm thinking light blue because I'm going to have real dark edges on her hair. But maybe I need a contrasting color. Maybe I need a contrasting color. I'm not sure what. Let's see. Who else? I said Tommy Joe, Brenda. There's Denise. Hi, Nisi. <laughs> There's our Denise. Hopefully she can come stream with us again, maybe next month. Maybe you can come on my birthday month, Denise. My birthday month. You'll have to come stream. All right, so let's uh, see about just getting a little bit of blend right in here. Okay, and then I'm going to want a little bit of red in her cheeks here. Let's see if I can do this lightly. Start putting some makeup on her. Looks pretty good. And again, I'm going to want her lips redder, so I'll do that with pencil because it is a little tight getting in those little spots. All right, let's see about putting on some blue. Let's put on some blue eyeshadow. Hi, beady eye Beth. How you doing? All right, let's put a little highlight on our eye, right above our eyebrows. Let's do our eyebrows. I'll go ahead and put some. And I always like to make my girls' eyebrows thicker than they are. I just like that look. I'll do the rest of her makeup, I think, with a pencil. Oh, maybe a little bit of blue. <clears throat> Got to start there. All right, I'm going to clean this off now. Now I'm going to go in here and get a little bit more of the sienna. And let's smooth out some areas here. Don't forget, you can erase. So if you get things to where you don't want them or don't like it, you can erase until you spray, which I'm getting ready to go do shortly. I'm liking it. Let's see. A, ch a channel I can share is tre oh, Treasure Books. I think I follow Treasure Books, Kathy. I'm pretty sure the name is very familiar. Yeah, this is Pan Pat. What, what did Denise ask a question? Well, Julie answered or whatever it was. <laughs> All right, so let's just kind of blend and. Trying to smooth it out. And when I wipe off excess over here on the paper towel.
I'm gonna have to get in here with some pencil because I'm getting kind of it's getting kind of tight there. Okay. I think I want a little bit of a highlight on that side of her cheek just a little. And a little bit more right here. A little bit more highlight there. A little bit more eyebrows. Maybe a little bit more. You got to keep cleaning your eraser. And a little on her lips. Which I will go back in there with pencil as well. And maybe a little bit on her shoulder. Okay, I'm liking that. Okay, I'm gonna go outside. Thank you, Denise. Gotta run. Okay, holla. Okay, <laughs> see you later, Denise. Love you too. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go right on the porch and spray this. Now, before I do, I'm gonna like right there. See that right there? Well, you may not be able to see it, but uh, again, let me get my baby wipe and just wipe up any excess dust and then go in here and just kind of clean up any of the edges because once I spray it I don't really have to do I'm gonna add some color to the back so I don't have to be that careful but I'm you know just showing you you can clean it up around the edges I don't know what color or maybe I should go ahead and if I'm gonna put pan pastel on the background. What color do y'all think for the background? I'm going to get a little bit more around the hair here. I'm not sure <clears throat> what color I want. It's hard for you to tell because what I'm going to do is, let me get an indigo or a, probably this, I want to kind of, I want to keep it a brighter blue. So maybe I would need to keep it, maybe I shouldn't go indigo. Maybe I should go just dark blue. Let's see. That's too purple. Let me sharpen this and see what I think of this color for the edge. <clears throat> All right, let's see if this is going to be dark enough. Mm, I don't think so. It'll be it'll be a good to brighten some areas up, but it's not going to be dark enough for the edges. I think I'm going to have to go with indigo for the very very edges. Let me find my indigo in here somewhere. Or I'll find another one. I don't know where I think it's my indigo. It's not right here. So, Rachel, that's for my moment. I'm digging for my indigo. Oh, here's one. And how I know it's indigo, and you might want this is a tip. Um, is put a piece of tape or something on your indigo because it looks just like black. And I have made the mistake before of using indigo instead of black or black instead of indigo. So if you, you want to put some tape or something to indicate that it is uh, indigo and not uh, pink to match lips. The background, you mean red? I'm using red. I don't know. All right, so I just want to kind of show you here how it's going to, this is how dark it's going to be along the edges. <clears throat> I'll blend it out. I'll blend it out better, but I'm just going to show you that the edges are going to be this dark. The edges of her hair. So that when I do whatever background I'm going to do. You can see how dark it's going to be on the edges. She has serious attitude. I know, right? Okay. So what do y'all think? I got to think of a background color. Background color. Again, I'm going to blend this out better, but I just want to 
get the edges. Yellow, hmm, no, I don't know, yellow. <clears throat> I'll have to well, look in my colors in a minute. <clears throat> I'm going to go with this look for Friday night. <laughs> green <clears throat> green's gonna make her look very if i put like lime green or something she'll look very outer space which that's not bad but she'll look very um it'll give the vibe of um outer space I don't know if I want a yellow background. I don't know. I don't know if I want yellow. I'm thinking. I'll, I'm going to look at my colors here in a minute. I just want to get really just, I should just concentrate on the edges because that's all that's going to matter right now. Uh, I'll get. I'll get the shading in here shortly <clears throat> after i after i put in some background and spray uh, maybe i need to do some kind of a pattern <gasps> a stencil we'll stencil it that's what we'll do all right let me just get all, all around the edge which is so i can just kind of see the dark of the blue i'm gonna shape blend it in and stuff right now i just want to get it on here a stencil but i still don't know what color all right that's enough to start okay let's see yes. all right i'm gonna look here let's see what we can do with this little girl Something swirly, something, you know, something like this. Look. Maybe. So maybe that. I kind of like that. And that's too much leaf, I think. Now, if I did greens, that would probably be good. If I did a couple shades of green and that with the leaves. Okay, we're, I'm not going to overthink it. We're going to go with it. <clears throat> Let me pull a couple of uh, greens here. Just a couple with maybe this color and a yellow ochre green. Those two maybe, or maybe. No, I think I'll go with the darkest and the lightest because they'll blend. I like those greens better than these greens, right? These greens are really bright. I'm going to go with these. All right, so here we go. We're going to try this out here. All right. Clean my hands off here. Oh, and the pearlescent. Uh, the thing about using pearlescents or the metallics or anything like that, they don't photograph. You don't see it. It's just going to look like gray. You know, if I use a pearlescent, like pink or something. Okay, so let me get a bigger tool here let's get the rounded tool cleaning it off over here on the on the uh, paper towel okay, I pulled off the little sponge on the tool you got to be careful they tear easy get all this blue off let me just get another one because it's taking a minute here let me just get a fresh one Just have to 
be very gentle putting it on like a baby sock. <laughs> That's what I say. Okay, so we're going to use this. And let's see what we can do. Remember, I can erase because I haven't sprayed yet. All right, so now I'm going to just kind of look at where the leaves are going to fall. All right, let's see. Let me get my other sponge here with some green. Let's see, because I don't want it the lightest and I don't want it the darkest. I want it kind of somewhere in between. All right, here we go. Wait for it. So I want to start with the kind of the darker around the edge here, and I'll fade it out to the light. We can always add darker. Okay, now I'm going to add the lighter. I don't want to lift it till I decide how much I want. I mean, I can, and it, I don't really care about matching it up exactly, but so I'll be a little careful. And I will wipe this stencil a little bit clean, Janet. <laughs> Jan, I hardly ever clean my stencils. All right, so let's see. Let's see what this is going to look like. Wait, ready? Wait for it. Here we go. Awesomeness. What do y'all think? All right. <clears throat> now I'm going to go over here, and I don't want to get this wet. If I wipe it with a baby wipe, then I'm apt to get water on here. So I'm just going to take my paper towel. I'm going to come over here off this area and just kind of dust it off. Just going to kind of dust it off a little bit. And now I'm going to move over. I'm just going to keep moving all the way around. All right. So let's go right over in here. I'm just kind of looking at the direction of these leaves a little bit. Okay. Here we go. All right, here we go. <gasps> Hang on. Hold still. Hold still. There we go. There we go. A little darker. Maybe even coming over onto her back. That'll look good. All right. What do y'all think? And again, I'm going to cut this edge off because I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller to fit in the, uh, what do you call it, um, page protector. All right, now I'm going to get a little bit dark here and then I'll, and maybe a little dark here. And then I want to go, mm, maybe a little dark there and then I want to go lighter. So let's see here. I'm kind of, no, let me go over here and wipe this off a little. Just dust, you know, flick off some of the, okay, so right in here. Just kind of go about that far and then get it a little darker. And just a little bit, let's see, right in there. And then, don't want to move that. Wipe off my stencil and get a little bit of the lighter here. Okay, darker down in here. I'm not really trying to line it up exactly. I just want to kind of get, get some leafage going. All right, now the rest of it, I'm going to wipe my stencil off now. Again, dust it off. And now the rest of it's going to be the light green. So I'm just kind of moving the stencil around, kind of seeing where the best leaf looks kind of are. Maybe right in there. I'm going to move it over there. A little bit of swirl right in there, I think. I 
Okay. I think we got the background done. What do y'all think? Now I need to go spray it. You need your trick in your books? Go, <laughs> go for it, girl. That's why I show as many things as we can learn. All right, now I'm going to come over here and off the table here and just kind of dust this off. And uh, now I will take my baby wipe and just kind of wipe this down a little because that pan pastel kind of, it's still going to be stained, but I don't want to, the next time I use it on something else, have dust, pan pastel dust. So you can see it's still dirty, but it's clean. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to go outside and spray and wash, probably wash my hands because now they, even the baby wipes kind of dirty. All right, so let's flip this over to have a clean space ready when I come back. And I'm going to go out on the porch. Only be a minute. I'll do a BRB. And I hope the cats aren't in here because I'm going to close the door so they don't come in here while I'm gone. <clears throat> All right, I'll be right back, guys. Let me go spray this out on the porch. And then we'll do the shading details with uh, pencil. All right, be, be right back. Okay. Close the door on the cats. Might be clawing on it shortly, but alrighty. Now let me kind of slide all the pastels to the side. I don't like to put them away till after I take a thumbnail for the picture at the end. Alright. Let's see, it lights a little. There we go. All right. And I also pulled out our thousand one ways to be creative book to read too. All right. So let's see here. Anything going on in chat? All right. Let's see. Let's zoom in while we do a little bit more detail. And it's a little flashed out. Let's darken it up just a little. I think that's about, that looks pretty good. All right, sip of juice. Let's see. Kathy B. Thank you, Ashley. All right, so now let's go ahead and let me get some color pencils. So I already got my blues. I need something here so it doesn't roll. Let's put my eraser there. I already got my blues. Maybe one more lighter blue. Which one do I like better? And Sienna. Sienna Brown. Probably my red crimson. That's Scarlet Lake. Maybe a darker one. And Tuscan Red. And what else? 
No, it might not need much more. Let's just start with that. Maybe one shade lighter, a peach color, just to get some highlights. All right, I think we're good. Oh, and a black for some eyeshadow, I mean eyeliner. Rachel. Black and white. And then I'll probably need my Posca for a highlight in the eye. And my Sharpie pen for eyelashes. Uh, yeah, she knows a thing or three. <laughs> yeah, she does, doesn't she? All right, so I'm gonna start with the eyes. Maybe I should zoom in. If I get it to, it's, I'm gonna lose clarity when the more I zoom in, but we'll zoom in one more for the eyes. See, we're gonna lose clarity a little bit, but okay. So, anytime you do a color book page, and especially if you're going over anything with pan pastel, you're going to uh diminish the, the darkness of the black lines, so you're gonna have to go in there with uh pen, like especially in the pupils, the eyelashes. Now, don't do the eyelashes until you you make sure the skin behind the eyelashes is done because you don't want to have to try to color around eyelashes. All right, so I'm going to get her pupils nice and black again. And most of the time, color book pages, it's not pure black anyway. It's kind of a gray. Okay, so we got her pupils. And then I always like to add just a little bit of um, like a slate blue or a, let's see what color here. a little bit of a even though her eyes are blue uh, anyway like in the shadow of her eyes you know in uh, under the eyelashes have a little shadow of blue and then she's going to have really blue eyes so I'm going to do a little bit of dark light uh, regular true blue there and then light blue where it kind of comes down into the iris. Okay. So she has a little variation in the blue of the eyes. And then, oh, I'm keep my, my eraser there to keep it from rolling. Then I'm going to add the highlight over again. And then sometimes I like to add just another little bit of a hot, just like another little dot like that. Just give it a little bit more or you can do a line like that <clears throat> if it gets too much now that that side's a little much so let's let that dry and then i'll make that a little smaller on that side and then in the corner here let's get a little bit the sharpening Okay, so that's probably dry by now. Let's just make the highlight just a little smaller. And then I like to add just a little bit of a light around the corner of the eye. Let's do this peach color. Eyeshadow. Her eyebrows, which I make a little thicker, like I said. Okay. <laughs> Rachel. And then these hairs, I'm going to do those too. But you've got to make sure that you finish with the skin first. And I got a little something, something on her nose right there. I'm not sure what I did. I can lighten that back up, lighten it up. All right, so now I'm going to add a little bit of highlighted areas. I'm doing this before I add the eyelashes. Because the eyelashes, that'll be kind of the last thing you want to do. Kind of 
and just smooth it out a little bit there. And then just a little bit of a highlight on her lip, which I'm going to go in here with red sharpening. Corners of her mouth, and then under her teeth, there barely see her teeth. Let's just put a little bit of light on her teeth. There. Oops. And then a little bit of Tuscan red in the shadow. Oh, there she is. So she has her lipstick smeared, which sometimes I've done that too. I'll smear their lipstick or their eye shadow or something. Give them a like a little. <coughs> I just woke up. Look. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. More makeup, maybe just a little touch on this side here. You can see maybe a little touch on there. Oops, I had a little bit of blue on my pencil. Kind of smooth her out just a little. What do y'all think? How's she looking so far? All right, now let me sharpen my Sienna Brown. I found 19 barrel Prisma so far in my stash. At the <laughs> Jasper, I know. Hang on to those barrels. They're the best. I know you can buy them on uh, eBay and stuff too. Do her eyelashes here in a minute. My mouth just landed in my coffee. Oh my gosh. Go put it in a bag of rice. Go get it in a bag of rice, um, Kim. I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done the mouse and the coffee. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do her lashes. I think I might have enough done on her skin. Maybe just a little bit of highlight. And I still got to do all her hair coming down in her face. And I still got to do the hair. So we got a little bit more to go here. <laughs> this is the first time for you as well. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and go in her eyebrows and put some extra hairs in there. And I'm going to go on her eyelashes. These eyelashes come way on over into her hair here. 
very long lashes. Kristen Glorious Ink always has long lashes on her girls. So can you see, look at the difference that the dark, see how black they are compared to the other one? Keep them thin. That's why I like to use a Sharpie pen. It keeps them very thin. Okay, let's back out one here. All right, I'm going to go to working on her hair again with the indigo. And I'm going to start shading in her hair. And we're going to put those black hairs coming across her face, maybe highlight a couple of them. Sharpening, where'd it go? <laughs> Love the light and dark leaves. And a thank you, Colleen. Stencil magic, right? Okay, so she's got all kinds of little hairs coming across her now. So I think I might go ahead and put those in. Then we'll finish all the rest of the hair here. She has a few little, little hairs here. Nice and sharp. You want these very thin. I have to keep sharpening my pencil. Sharpening. getting all these little nice little hairs along the edge and then I'm going to go back and do the inside here she's got all these loopy bits sharpening she has some little hang dangly ones here Sharpening. <laughs> I'm going to put some white, you know, highlights and turn them light blue across her hair. But you got to get all your shading done before you do that. This is on the outside edge where I've already finished, so I can go, I can do all those. Sharpening. <laughs> Thank you, CMP. We'll be edge of my head. <laughs> All right, let's keep going here. Yeah. 
think I'm going to put one like right across her eye there. I put a couple highlights with the posk in a little bit, but let's go ahead and finish shading in the hair, and then we'll do those extra highlight bits to make it really pop. All right, so let's go in here and start shading. We'll put our little highlights at the end. Everybody still with the tour? Clutching the velvet rope, Julie? Don't see anything in cap, so anybody has anything else, just put it in caps. You know, working on anything, got anything new to post uh, that you posted? C and P, have you posted anything new? If y'all don't follow Cat and Paste on Instagram, she colors some amazing, amazing pictures. Just saying. <clears throat> Sharpening. <laughs> uh, yeah, how many of y'all are working on Janet's scavenger hunt? Raise your hand. Are y'all posting pictures of it? I think she has hashtag scavenger hunt 2022. Am I right? Kitty Jen's doing it. Kathleen's doing it. Jasper. Who else? Hello, Patricia and Mariah. Yeah, I think Patricia and Mariah are doing it, aren't y'all? Um, doing a scavenger hunt. <laughs> Devin, Devin, I am. <laughs> uh, I'm blending it out on the edges here. <clears throat> Tommy Joe, I'm working on a diamond painting. I have over 40 hours. Oh my gosh, and only two thirds done. I know, I'm telling you, they look awesome. But they are some time-consuming things. Hi, Jeff. How you doing? Finishing up coloring this uh, girl with pan pastels and color pencils. I'm sure my white shirt is loving being on here. Well, it's not picking it. I sprayed it pretty, pretty good, so...
and I won't need to spray it again since I didn't add any more pan pastels to it. The pencils, I don't I never spray my pencil work. I mean, I do if it's in conjunction with pan pastel, but okay, I think she's looking pretty good. All right, let's add some. Hi, Wendy. Let's add a little bit of pop. Now, remember, when you do this, you don't have to leave it white. You can go back over the white. When it dries, The pan, whenever the Posca dries, you can go back over it with pencil. But I'm going to add some loose hairs. You know, you see all these little hairs that are kind of, you know, all over the place here. So I'm going to add a few extra. Because, you know, it's always good to have some extra. <laughs> extra is always good. Just don't over extra. <laughs> don't do over extra extra. And kind of just tap it out to kind of, you know, knock it back a little. And again, once this is dry, I can go over it with a blue, light blue pencil if I want. Or I can leave a few bright ones like this. Got to kind of do it fast, otherwise it'll get thick on you. You got to do them quick. And maybe a, a little bit of uh, extra highlight down the... Same thing for this one. A little extra brightness. It's too light or too bright or too white. You can always just go back with your pencils. y'all think how's she looking is that enough have I overdone it she got some serious <laughs> blush yeah she does and some bright lips okay let's back out And should we call her done? Let's go ahead and trim her down, put her on some black cardstock, and then on the back, I'll write, let me clean my hands again. <clears throat> and let's see, a piece of black cardstock. Oh, pencils on the floor. I'm going to get out my cutter and trim her down a little. Let's see if she's going to fit. I might have to trim a little bit of the side. No, she's still too... It's not going to really... I'm going to have to cut her way down to fit her on there. Let's see. I'm going to do it too much. I might have to just not... I might have to just forgo 
a little bit of a black top and bottom and just put her in the middle. She has to fit in there if you're going to put it in my book. Say I wanted, I wanted it like that, but not quite. I didn't want to cut her down too much. That's a little too much. So I might just do it. I just might do a little bit of black card stock extension. I think that's what I'll do. I need another piece of black card stock. She'll just have to stick out the top of the stick out the top of the page protector a little bit. Or I can put her in one of the other other sleeves. I can put her in another sleeve. Is that two there? Is that one? I can't tell. It feels like two. It feels like two, but it's I guess it's one. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll just do this. We get some double sided tape. Let's see how far I want to put this down on here. Okay. And then, we get that even? Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure I got that even. Let's do one at a time. Oh, I know what it is. I need to trim this edge where I cut it out with the X-Acto knife. Because I didn't cut it out perfectly straight with the knife. And it's a little... It's a little uh, it's a little off. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Don't need this whole thing. Just a little. Hang on, guys. I'm still I'm still with the tour. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> And then what I usually do is I write on the back with white pencil or um, Posca or something. And I write in, here's the book. Here's the book. Yes. I write on the back. Galaxy Girls. Kristen. Glorious. Ink color and I put that on the back and then this goes in the sleeve and then I always can know what book it's out of all right because I put them in my uh, binder which this one's going to stick out because <laughs> it's uh, a little taller because of the European size so, what do y'all think? There we go. And then I'll take a screeny of it, and that'll go on Instagram. And I always post a picture of the, if you scroll through, whenever I do a color book, I always scroll through, because sometimes I'll have one, maybe I'll have a close-up, and then I always have a picture of the book. I try to always put a picture of the book I took it from on the last page of the, you know, scrub through, scroll through, slide over, whatever you want to call it. So, all right. Well, that didn't take too long. What else would y'all like to do? I want to, you know, if, oh, I know what, well, we can do this. Let's go and read our thousand one ways to be creative. And y'all can um, um, take notes if there's anything here. And remember when I read these, oh, thanks guys. Thanks, Joy, Devin, Jane. Thanks guys. So um, anytime I read out of this book, and we're getting close to the end, we're at 820, 
out of a thousand. We've been doing it for three or four years, I think. And um, so anytime I um, read y'all these ideas from Barbara and Kipfer, then if something else occurs to you, get another idea. Oh, well, that's a good idea, but I'd rather do X, Y, Z. Well, make sure you write down X, Y, Z. Uh, did I make a copy of it or I tore it out of the book? Yeah, I never make copies of anything. I've made a couple copies when I wanted to do like, um, there was a dragon that I did of, uh, I'll go get my three ring binder. It's been a while since I flipped through that. Um, and, uh, I wanted to do it on a craft paper, but even on the thinnest Kirby Roseanne, well, not Kirby Roseanne, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, oh, see my names. I, I'm, I'm thinking glorious ink and now it's hard to think of his name where the thin, the thinnest paper, even the thinnest copy paper, Amazon paper. I still use that paper. I don't make copies of it unless I just want a special craft paper or something like that. Otherwise, I use all the originals. I don't make copies of any of them, right? Uh, magazine art show. I don't have time for that today. Um, Hermit's Tale. Yeah, that I have to get out all the, uh, you know, matte mediums and, and all that. And I don't have time. I mean, even if I stay an hour, that's not enough time. When I do a collage, which I need to, I'll try to do another one here. Let me get my little book. I'm, whoa. My little one I'm working in, <clears throat> this one. This is a little uh, composition, but it's not a magazine journal. It's just uh, uh, just mini comp book collages that I'm going to use this one for colors. Although I, I said that I already had a couple pages already done. Although this could be the pink page or something like that. But these were already done uh, at the end of 2021. And uh, so you'll see... Um, I just, can, I'm just going to continue this with my colors with the, uh, different, you know, main theme color for the rest of them. And, uh, but these are just some of the ones that I've done like this one. Well, I'm not there yet. Let's see here. So this is my little Mount Fuji. Here's, here's what I've started. Here's what I've worked on. This one started. This one I finished. I did this one on stream about a month ago, maybe. I'm not sure. And then let's see what else do I have here. Then I think I just have a blank page. And then here's the yellow page that I did um, for 2022. And then I want to do an orange and red. I want to do all the different colors. And again, I'm doing that same thing with this style. So I'm doing the different colors in this Traveler's Notebook. I'm calling it the Job style, Job's journal. Oh, and by the way, he had some washi tape. He opened his, I don't know if he has any left, but he opened up his uh, Etsy shop to sell. He bought some, uh, he, made, he made his own washi tapes and I bought a couple of his washi tapes. So I'm looking forward to getting those. I'll show them off when I get them. But anyway, um, and he's not the only one that does this kind of style, but I just, he kind of inspired me to do it because I don't really do this style, <laughs> you know, but um, so I'm doing like five books. I'm doing five um, inserts, this style. This particular one is colors. The other ones are just nature, words, and I have different ones that I'm doing. But um, so I got two pages for each one. Here's another orange and an orange. And I am posting these on Instagram. And um, then here's the red page. And I posted that. And then this will be another red page. And here will be a purple page. And then I did this purple. I'm not done with the purple. I want to finish the purple page, and I did finish the pink page yesterday, so this one's done, the pink. I added the gold stars and the pink stars, and so this one's done, uh, so I'll end up posting this one maybe later today or tomorrow, so I'm going to post this today. So, and then I got three greens, three blues, black, white, and brown, I think, and so this one is just my colors, whereas the other books that I'm doing in my TN like 
they're already getting chunky now these are not colors this is my word one and i just did a flip through of this on monday so i'm not gonna flip through it now but you can see it's already getting chunky so anyway and then the other color thing we're doing is the comp book where I'm sketching in this one, the year of color. And I went through a whole comp book and just threw down a bunch of acrylic paint and all the different colors. And then I made some notes of what are those things are those colors. And then what I'm going to do with this book is just sketch in it. So we worked in this on Monday. So I did lemons and bananas. And then we did it on the orange page. We did some things orange. And they're just little sketches. They're not, you know, you just got to, it's just a sketch and play with the color. There's some things that are red. We started, and then I think I did purple. I did some onions. So, yeah. So that's what I'm doing in this little fluffette. <laughs> so it's my year of color. And that does include color book pages, which after I read from here, I'll go get my binder and show you some of my pages that are in the binder. It's not the it's only pages that I've cut out of um, a lot of the color books, but I'm not I don't cut out things out of my, you know, twenty five dollar, you know, fairy tale thick books. I don't cut things out of those. I only cut them out of the thin papers and um you know, things, usually single-sided, single-sided things. You haven't seen my Jane journal. Oh, I know. I haven't worked in my Jane journal for a while. I'll pull it out if you want to look at it. I haven't worked in it a while. It's just kind of my Jane journals, the closest I kind of get to a glue book. It's just all kinds of things. It's the Jane and Jonna junk journal vintage. <laughs> I've got two. I, actually, I think I have three Jane books now. I think I have three Jane books, uh, C and P. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and read this real quick before I forget. Then I'll go, if we have time, I'll get out the Jane books and I'll go get out the uh, my uh, binder. Okay, so again, 1,001 Ways to Be Creative, a little book at day of everyday inspiration, Barbara Ann Kipfer. And here's a little inspiration. Fancy yourself a poet. To get started, try filling out these lines. My day was blank if there was no tomorrow blank. Time stood still blank. Blank is under control. I'm dreaming of a blank. N nouvelle, nouvelle cuisine, cuisine blank is of great importance. Midlife crisis blank. A wild guess blank. Failure is blank. You can trust blank. Blank should never change. So you can make, you know, fill out your own, um, you know, poem there. All right, so we're at 820. Teach yourself to juggle. Ignore the instructions on a craft or science kit. Construct something completely different from your imagination. Well, it depends on what kind of science kit you have. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Creativity is not created. It is there for us to find. Lay out an orienteering, orienteering, uh or like orientation, but orienteering course. Lay out an orient. Is it like, you know, like a path in the woods? Is that what they mean, do you think? Orienteering course. Is that like a finding your way through something? Like in the military? <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop there. And we'll put the thing in for next week. Nouvelle cuisine. Well, I knew the cuisine part. Nouvelle, nouvelle. Thank you, Jane. What is what is nouvelle cuisine? Is that like you know uh, a new way of doing something? Is the new the new? I mean, is it like uh, is the word new part of the the actual meaning? Let's see. Uh, make a path. Okay, thanks, Jane. Make a path. Like we, I got you know, Hubster got me a new um, metal detector and all the gear, the scoop and the the handheld pointer um, metal detector and the new big metal detector. So I want to do more metal detecting. I, I don't know if is um what is it called? Uh, you know, when you go find um, things that are oriented by um, uh, you know little what is it called oh it's just around the tip of my tongue where they plant things and you have to go find them not plant but you know little boxes of treasure and you go try to find that what is that called 
when you go, I've not done it. So, but I think it would be fun. And I don't know if anybody still does it anymore. A new cooking style. Okay. Thank you, Rachel. You can tell I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't uh, cook, do I? Um, well, I mean, I cook, but geocaching. Thank you, Jane. Geocaching. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Does anybody still do geocaching anymore? I would love to do geocaching, but I don't know if anybody. Yeah, CB, thank you. Other than that, it's metal detecting. Let me go grab that uh, binder. Hang on. Mm -hmm. And Bennett Klein was who I was trying to think of a minute ago. Bennett Klein, he um, published his books through the Amazon Publishing, and they were thin. <coughs> Let me back out. Thin books. Let's, let's turn that down just a little. There we go. And um, I would cut. I'd take those out and put them in a binder too. So she might be. Let's see. Let's. Where's one of the? I don't have any empties. I don't think. Well, she'll stick out just about a quarter inch off the top of the sleeve. And again, these are all in sleeves, so there's going to be some glare. But uh, here's some different ones that I haven't put in. These are some test ones I did with some markers. Um, and they haven't been put in sleeves. This is a friend of mine drew that. <clears throat> Let's see. So these are a couple ones that were in progress. There's that one again. And uh, so anyway, they're going to be shiny. There's a couple that have nice glitter. I might pull a couple out so you can see those. I've gone through this book many times. And you can see it's pretty thick with pages. And this is not all my color book pages. This is probably maybe a fourth. <laughs> I don't know how many um, pages that I've colored. And uh, someday maybe I'll count them. But I haven't gone through all my books. Oh, you like the cover of this? This came this way. It's just, it, I think I've got it at a staple. No, not staple. No, I don't remember. So my staple's closed, so it could have been from my staples, but it was the office supply store. Um, okay, so this was a Bennett Klein. And on the back, there's it's a double page, but on the back of them, it does say what book they're out of. And um, and the and the author, but it's you can't see it because I have two on the page. There's still a geocaching website. Okay, Janet, I love to go metal detecting. Yeah, thank you, Darlene. So this is a Bennett Klein, and I don't remember. I'd have to take each one out to tell you what book then. But I have all his books. I have like 10, 15, I have probably about fifteen of them. Fifteen of Bennett Klein's books. I'm not sure. This one. I did on you. I think it been here. I flickered. Am I? Am I here? Am I here? I flickered. It's still time. Is still moving. So <clears throat> we good. My screen flickered for a minute. I don't know why. Okay. So anyway. Um, there's like 10, 10 parts to this one. Let me see if I can prop this up here. Let's get this over here. Let me prop my prop up this book to take a little bit of the glare off, I think. I don't know if that's going to help. Now, I think it made it worse, actually. But anyway, um, <laughs> this was the closest I came to a tutorial in any of my color books. Let me get a sip of juice. <clears throat> in any of my coloring this one, I think I spent 10 hours doing this. <coughs> okay. So anyway, these are all uh, Bennett Klein pages. And some have glitter like this one that doesn't show up unless I take it out of the sleeve. And it's much, look, see how much blacker it looks when you take it out of the sleeve. This one has all kinds of uh, glitter on it. And the background is paint. So because this is paint, I'm able to do things like this little smoky things like that with color pencil. You can't do that just on, um, you know, it does. you have to have it painted. <clears throat> 
And the only reason I took 10 hours on this one is because I was trying to do a step-by-step. -step. I hated it. I hated doing that. I don't like to do tutorials where I have to stop and tell you what pencils. And what, uh -uh. I don't like doing it. There's another one. So <laughs> I just don't like doing them. I, don't, I like to just keep going and talking and chatting and not look at every pencil. Every Yes, just not me. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Om. So there's this girl. So I'm just going to kind of do a quick look. This one popped up on my Facebook feed yesterday and I reposted it. That came back up. So here's the one where I printed out this dragon on craft paper. So I could just do a black, white. It's only black and white pencils and Posca. It's all done in black and white and on craft paper. So I'm just going to flip through real quick. And then this one is uh, some from the Doodlers Anonymous. I love Doodlers Anonymous. And uh, this was the first page I did out of their book, Color Book Attic. And um, <clears throat> so these are all from Doodlers Anonymous. And then I, I added my own, like, paint. This is paint, paint, paint. <laughs> that one. This is one of my, I love him. I love him. And again, they're a little flat, they're a little uh, muted because they're in plastic, but just so you can kind of see them. And then, then just as a work in progress, this is a work in progress. We did some, something. Oh, see how that sticks out? See how that sticks out the top? It's, this is a uh, um, Rav, Ravens. What's her name again? Let me take it out. Let me see her name. Linda Ravenscroft. And so it's a European size, right? So they're a little taller. Oh, there's a blank page right there. So. And again, I have the names on the backs of them all. Let's see. This is my own just drawing there. And I added collage to this one. And then these are the um, uh, Beckett. Oh, what's her name? Uh, see, I have, when I don't work in them for a while, I forget their names. I hate that. Jasmine. Jasmine Beckett Griffith. When I don't work in them for a while, I forget their names. So these are Jasmine's pages. And uh, again, lots of paint, paint, painted backgrounds. All that's painted. So, this one has a lot of glitter in this. So let me take this one. So, again, a lot of paint. I wanted to try to make that look like velvet. So. And there's videos on most of these. And then this one, I really like her because I like her not only her uh, glitter, but I did her hair in braids. She doesn't have normally, she didn't have braids, but I gave her braids. And I really like the way the braids came out. And I love her, her uh, glittery little tail. But she's one of my favorites that I did in Jasmine. So, hi, Afro Sensible Sister. Who else am I missing? Need a voiceover, and the archives would not be the same without making. <laughs> so, and I know I've shown these. This one was from, I signed it in the day. It's, this is from 2016. So, this one was done in 2016. It was done a while back. So, and let's see what else do I have in here. This one is from Vicki. She sent me that one. Sent me a nice little um, note on there. And I got a few blank pages here. Oh, let's see. This was out of the comic book coloring book. And then just some more practice girls there. And a Mary Ingle Bride. And this is out of that. Um, oh, I have it on the back. This one is out of the Somerset Studio coloring book. There were, I think they made three of them. I have all three of them. And I added my own stuff too. I made her a, I gave her a crown. I made her a queen. 
uh, well, it says it's a princess. Lift your head, princess. If not, the crown falls. So I gave her a crown of collage and a necklace of collage. This is a Tim Holtz. He put this uh, page in the color, the Somerset Studio color book. So I added some collage stuff to that. This is from the Somerset Studio color book. Some dragons. And again, there's lots of glitter on these. Lots of glitter. <clears throat> and then this one is out of uh, Christine Karen's. Did this one in 2018. And uh, this one in 2008. God, I can't believe it's been since that long ago that I did these out of Christine Karen's 2018. And these are, I love, these are the, these are my first pan pastel color book pages where these three girls, let me take them out so you can see them. These three girls were my first pan pastel color book pages. And they're from Ikuko, I-K-U-K-O. They're called, it's the book is called Japanese Girls by Ikuko. And these are from 2018. These are my first pan pastel pen pastel um pages it's got a little flash down there and uh and pencil pen pastel and pencil her her and her she's my favorite and paint that's painted background and uh and pen pastel and pencil so so yeah those were my first uh, pan pastel color book pages and then he's some pan pastel which I did after these and I think that's pretty much it I think yeah so that, that's just the pages that will fit in this book. They're not my all my color book pages that I don't cut out. I don't cut everything out. <clears throat> so, yeah. All right. Let's see. What time is it? What else do I say I was going to show? Let me pull my girl back over here that we did today. Thank you. Yeah, I like the mermaid one, too. I like my Japanese girls, too. I guess because they're my first ones. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, Jane Davenport. Is uh, Cat and Pay still here? <laughs> Do you want to see those? I haven't worked in them in a while, but let's see here. I don't want to put my past, my pan pastels away till I take a thumbnail, so I don't want to put those away. Let's see here. No, I'm... All right, let's see, Jane books, which I have three of, I think. Well, actually, you know what's so funny is I have the Jane Davenport binder, and I don't have anything in her binder because, to me, it's not really thick enough. But I do have the Jane binder. I need to do something with that. All right, let's see what I can pull out here. Let's see. Nope. Is this it? Three different ones. No, nope, that's not it. Is this the one? Come on. I think this might be one of them. Let's see. Hang on. I have all everything's in three ring binders, and I forget which is what's in what. Yeah. Okay. Here's one of them. I think I have I have three binders that have Jane stuff in it. <laughs> And uh, so anyway, I think I need to back out one more. All right. Let's see here. How's that looking? Let me pull this down. Push that up. Move that over. <laughs> so it's kind of like my, this is the closest I get to a glue book catch-all things I like other than my, you know, I do have my travelers where I'll put my washi tapes and stuff like that in here. This is kind of like a catch all as well, but this is a smaller catch all. It's easier for me to manage that. This is quite a bit of a lot of stuff. Okay. So let's make some room here. Let's move the pieces over. Let's move the pastels over. 
All right, making some room here. <laughs> okay, so I have all kinds of things stuck in here that need to go in the book, but they're not, they're just stuck in there. All right, so let's see what we got. Because uh, it's been a while since I've been through here. So I did put some, I did put some, let's see, let's put some there because of the glare. Glare right there. Well, it's still glary. Uh, <laughs> some uh, card, you know, uh, scrapbook cardstock paper to help give it some stability. Because this also has a lot of the vintage papers and things like that. Some from, you know, Jana. And uh, they're very thin and very, um, what do you call it, uh, fragile. So I'll put some extra cardstock papers in here to help give the book a little bit more stability. And, um, and also, this has got a lot of stuff in it. I might even take some out to put in my Job type, you know, um, book. Because I wasn't doing anything like that with my um, vintage papers. At the time when I put this together. So if you have a thumb or a finger. Oh, thanks, Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. Okay, so let's see what we got here. And again, this is the closest I'll say that I have. I gotta put something right there because it's shiny. Let's see. The shine is gonna bug me. There we go. I'll just put that there. Um <laughs> as close as I get to a kind of a glue book thing. So, and it's a combination. I think there's two or maybe three of Jane's books in here. Then I have two of her other books in another binder. I've got like, I don't know how many. But I, anyway, what I do is I take them apart and made this kind of junk journal, um, paint swatchy collection. All right, let's see. Well, I might need to brighten it back up now because the white paper is going to need more brightness. Is that good? How's how's that looking? Okay. So anything that's Jane paper. So uh, let me try to back up and explain how I did this. So I took her books apart, cut them out, cut them out of the book. And then I washi tape, but you can't just washi tape. You have to glue the washi because washi tape is not uh, sturdy. I mean, it's not really good for um, taping washi tape is decorative and uh so i had to glue all these plus i put reinforcements on all the pages so it did take me a while so like every page okay so here's one page okay this is one page and now watch let me let me just show you here i'll put a marker there look at everything that's on one piece of paper okay and i did this with the whole book so um this is her paints. Here is just another from one of her little books here. And it flips out this way. And then this. And then that's one of her books. And it flips out that way. So all this is all on one paper. That's one paper. <laughs> so it's so thick because not only is there a couple of different Jane books, but they're all uh, glued on 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 one piece of paper all right so like this one let's see how many things we got on just this one one sheet of paper one one piece of cardstock okay all right so this 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 and then here's a vintage uh uh note pet thing from schoolwork from jonna then this page, then this, and then this opens out. So you see how much is just on, and they're all reinforced because they won't hold up if you don't reinforce them. When you have like four or five pages taped in one page. Okay, so I kind of explained that. So here are one of our fairy tale lists that we made. And then here's all that page. This one opens up here. And uh, some vintage things there. Vintage little, put one of Jonna's vintage girls over Jane's, over Jane's drawing. <laughs> so there's a lot of pages on each one. Then that's just one of my painty papers. 
and this goes this way, this opens up this way, that opens up that way. So they just flip and flop all different ways. It's kind of an inspiration book. You can put anything in here. I can always add to this. I can continuously add to this for years, right? And some vintage ledger paper. This folds out. And um, so I was using it for quite a bit of swatches and lists and ideas. And then, of course, you know, we moved on to other things. We always we always do. Inktober 2019. This was my, I rewrote my list of uh, movie monsters. And this one goes this way. And then it goes this way. And there's just some sketches and notes and ideas. <clears throat> and then here are the currents. This is her watercolor set that are the currents. Is this her set? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, this might be the Prima set. And then I don't remember. One, one's oh yeah, it's the it's the water confections currents by uh, that's I think the Prima set. And so you see, it's just got lots of. So I taped everything in. Oh, we do have another bot. bot. Thanks, guys taking care of it and then I just use paint chips for tabs so all through here you can see tabs I just use paint chips so yeah so you can make one of these and what all and I have the other one with uh, and I can't think of the name now I took a part two of her uh, home decorating books and I made a commonplace book out of her books too <laughs> Maybe I'll dig that one out too. So, um, yeah, just all kinds of little things. There's a little yo-yo from Jonna's Kits. And uh, so you can see there's more lists from uh, Jane and then a little vintage doily. And I can color these. You can swatch on them. Here's a vintage fabric. So you can see it's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of color it's very just inspiring right it's just inspiring to me and um do i use it as much as i should probably not but there's my vicky Booten colors and the bin and then and then and then here's a, a thick piece of card uh scrapbook paper to give it a little stability because some of these pages are thin right I don't know if this is interesting to anybody, but 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 me and cat and paste. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you can make it, it. It can be a junk journal. It can be a commonplace book where you just write things in. It can be your swatch book. It can be. But look, I even I even uh, put reinforcers on this vintage because uh, this is like I mean, this is like thin as can be. And um so it can be a little of whatever you want and it just makes you happy it makes me happy just to look through it and see the different colors and things it's just a happy book right <laughs> you can add some of your own painty papers this is my you know uh, dilutions and um old maps and here's another uh one of those fabric swatches from jonna vintage art book vintage art books and then back into jane's stuff and then my own painty papers and uh it's just a little uh whatever Vintage wrapping paper, vintage wrapping paper, and you can use it for a journal or just listing, uh, list of things. There's a little vintage uh, Valentine. More painting papers, ledgers, scribbles, and then more. Um, these are the Artigo paint pens. The ones I gave Cameron. I gave all those to Cameron when he was here because I wasn't using them, and he liked the paint pens, so I gave all of I gave them all to him. Mm 
But uh, I love Jane's stuff, you know. I, I like just looking at it. Here's where we just did a wrote with a brush pen. Painty papers. But you can make one of these to just keep whatever kind of information, notes, lists, swatches, Jane pages. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad cat face. And uh, more swatches. These are her um these are her um the I forget what she calls them, mermaid pins, I think. They're like uh you know the liquid brush pen paints, watercolor paints, inks, inks, I think they are. And these are all of those. And then this is um Jane's gold the gold set. So I wrote them all down. Swatches. This uh, mermaid markers. That's what they're called. Mermaid markers. Another piece of just heavyweight paper. Just, just to give it some stability. I use the packaging off of one of Jane's uh, packages. And use that for a tab. And then this is more watercolors. This is the aqua. Uh, and when I say aqua set, I mean the, the case is aqua. Right. This is the teal set. The box is teal. And then just the old vintage recipe. Some more Jane packaging. Arteza watercolor swatches. These are the Arteza gouache. Arteza gouache. More Jane packaging. And more swatches. The Black Widow. The um, skin colors. The light tone and the dark tone. These are the Black Widow Cobra set. The Black Widow, which set is this? The Black Widow Scorpion set. The Black Widow Spider set. <laughs> I know there's a new one out now. I don't have that one. Zig Clean Colors. Just in some practicing. Here's some more swatches. Lots of swatches. You know, I just like, I like looking at them. And we did a test with the different Arteza, Zig, Flexible, Super Tip, different. And this is on regular paper, watercolor paper, Super Tip, Real Brush. I haven't, I haven't uh, swatched those. <clears throat> Isn't this inspiring you to do something? It <laughs> just means just flipping through it. I want to work in it, you know. Just so I have, you know, how many journals I have going on. But I love my Jane Jonna junk journal. It's just colorful and happy. Vintage kitchen. Vintage cards from Jonna. More washi tapes. One of those old recipe books. Vintage music sheet. Vintage magazine images. Gardening, Arabia, a, a art magazine. You can put anything in these books, right? <laughs> you can put anything. Here's an old recipe and again, a piece of heavier cardstock to give it some more stability. Here's the Artesia paint pens.
I mean, there's a lot in here. I'm gonna not gonna lie. <laughs> there's a lot in here. Um, a little vintage playing card with a cat, and I just had that paper clipped on there. Some old ads. Like to doodle. Do y'all remember these art studio things where they come into your house, come to your house, and try to you know get you to take art courses? They came to my house to try to get mom and, you know, try to get them to sign me up for those art courses. They were very expensive. They went, uh, no, thanks. We'll just continue to give her pencils. <laughs> Here's a vintage pattern. But lots of, you know, just took the Jane books apart. And then this was just some, uh, um, Brush pen, I mean brush, yeah, lettering. We did a few of those. But each one is, each thing is washi taped in there. But not just washi tape. Washi tape with glue. Washi tape with glue. Because washi tape's not going to hold. Fine, Ashley. Again, another brush lettering. I'm not really looking at you. <laughs> I hope everybody's not just fleeing out the back door with all this, you know. <laughs> but I like it, and it is inspiring. And I was doing all my swatches. Here's another swatch. This was... What swatch was this? It was a watercolor something. I think I covered it up with washi tape. What kind it was. Oh, look, Riri. We wrote Riri's name with a brush pen. <laughs> Let's see. Here's some of the uh, packages off the um, that metallic set. I can't remember its name. Janet has it, too. And there's a couple blank pages there. Here's some more vintage. This folds out this way, I think. Oh, I, I did something here. Oh, it goes this way. See, I just tore it apart there. Here's some more of the, um, what do you call it, metallic. See, the metallic paints. Could you do a video on how to write like that? Um, I have a couple videos. I have a couple of videos doing it, uh, Grace. Here, let me, um, and you can use different things. Let me just grab a, um, just use a uh, super tip. That's what this is here, I'm pretty sure. Super tip. And what's nice about the Crayola super tips is you have a thin line. Let me zoom in. Hang on. You have a thin line. You can get a medium line and you can get a thick line. Okay. So what's nice about that, let me find a place to write. Here we go. So, and I haven't practiced or anything, but you can get thin, thick, thin, thick, thin and thick. Cats are running around here. So super tips are great for practicing. You just have to, uh, alternate the pressure, the pressure you put on it. There you go, Grace. Okay, let's see. But there's, if, if you put in brush lettering in YouTube, you're going to find, um, you're going to find people that are, I mean, they, that's all they do. You'll find some amazing brush lettering artists. So just, just YouTube it. More painty papers. Getting to the end. And I just used Jane's packaging for tabs there. But this was some hours. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. It's some hours to <laughs> this one. I don't know what happened here. I think this was just got toward the end and it got a little mushed. Um 
it does take some time to washi tape all this in. This is like really got, uh, I need to put this on a separate piece of paper. There's one of Jonna's vintage pattern girls. Here's another one. And uh, another one. But it does take some time to do that because you don't want to just washi tape. You want to actually put the glue down, you know, or at least, you know, some uh, glue stick or something because washi tape is not going to hold these thick papers by themselves. There's some painty paper. Here come the cats. Kind of stay on that side. <laughs> so more Jane, Jane. So I'm getting toward the end here. Some just some scrapbook papers and some little vintage papers. There's a pocket of stuff. I should take this out now. I should take this out and put it over with my um, traveler's notebook because this is the kind of stuff I'll use in there. So I'm going to take this envelope out, move it over to the other. What else do I have in here? Just some more vintage paper, player piano, and just different envelopes and just leftover, leftover papers that I could put in here. So that is that. Let's see if I can get it all flipped back over now. And flip it shut. So yeah, you can see that's quite the chunky. That's a chunky, and that's a, I think that's a three-inch bind uh, ring. All right, baby, you can't come over here to the, you have to get down. You can't go over into the uh, pan pastels. I'm so sorry. And then I've got other, let's see, what's this one? I've got these two Jane. Here's another book. I think I took this Jane, Jane book apart. Haven't done something with this one. This is another Jane book. And then this one. I started making another Jane book out of one of the mixed media. This is one of the Canson mixed media books. And I kind of did the same thing with this. Jane, I made, I made another Jane book. And the reason I did this one in the Canson mixed media, and I showed y'all you could practice your drawing. Uh, did I do any of that in here? I don't remember. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, one of Jane, another one of Jane's books that I took apart. And uh, I don't got hair in my mouth. And uh, left a blank page with the mixed media paper that's a little kind of textury. So we could uh, get on that. <laughs> so we could draw. This is one of her, um, there's her teal set. And I just did very, you know, uh, variegated of it. And uh, so anyway, oh, look, I did put one of my hand carved stamps in there. I did do something. <laughs> but anyway, I think this was her mermaid book. So I took her mermaid book apart because look, here's here we go. Here's how she shows how she does her drawing. So I put um, the pages in here like this so that there's space to draw. Right. She gives you all her tutorials and her step outs. So that's what I did on every page. I took the book apart and made it into a sketchbook. So you could actually sketch. <laughs> you could actually follow along with Jane. Oh, look, we did a couple things. Look, we did a couple things with Jane. <laughs> we did a couple things along with her. Oh, we did some painting. But it's a beautiful book. Look how her, just her book is so pretty, right? And I'm sure Xandra's shown them all a hundred times because Xandra has everything, Jane. But uh, if there was two pages that went together, a tutorial that had two pages, I taped the, the, them together, right? So that they stayed together. Like this had two steps. So I put them together so we could follow along. <laughs> So you can take, uh, and I took the book apart. I took the rings out. I mean, the spiral. I took the spiral out and just put some book rings or 
Um, you can get these rings. Of course, you can get them all places. But if you want some different variation of size of these rings, like especially big ones, go over to the embroidery section of Michael's or Hobby Lobby and they sell the rings. And uh, you can just take out the spiral and then put uh, put the rings in. So, yeah, I'll see. She's got all her steps there. I'll have to go back and read chat, guys, because I, <laughs> I don't want to say I've been ignoring. I'm not ignoring you. I just haven't been keeping up with chat like I usually do. So, yeah, you can see. So you can take, and it doesn't have to be Jane's book. It could be any um, any of the, um, you know, tutorial type books, instructional books. Take them apart and just tape them in and leave the other side blank um, so that you can work in it. You know, and you got your, you got your, your tutorials right there, right next to where you want to work. I mean, I just think that's a great idea if you want to, you know, follow along with a particular artist. And here's the back of her book here. The Let me tell you the ISBN on this one. This is the um, uh, mermaid one, but the ISBN is 978-1684620043. And then this book is the next one I have in here, Fabulous Figures. <laughs> and I did the same thing with this book. So this is two of her books in this one. So look, there's a drawing tool chart. There's her desk. So again, took this book apart. So you could draw different steps. See, look at all the different things here. So I don't know. Maybe parts of this is the mermaid one too. I'm not sure. I thought there was two different ones. I think so. Yeah. Get to the back and we should have a, the back cover. To these. See? So if you want to have the place to sketch. I just think it's happy. Even if I never, if I never use it, I love looking at it. It just inspires me, makes me want to get out the watercolors, the inks, the crayons. You know, it just makes me want to work on something. But I have a book here if I need to. <laughs> Doesn't just make you. Yes, it does, darling. It does make me want to sketch. So again, you know, if there's more than one page on that, uh, that particular tutorial, I put them together. So, but I think I have all of Jane's books in, in some form. <laughs> I have some, all of Jane's books in some form. And then here's her little punch outs that she, she used. She has these for like little stencil like things for to do the shapes. Then she has this book page here with the hearts. And this this one is number nine seven eight one nine four two zero two one three two two. Okay, so those are her two figure drawing, the mermaid one and the I don't know the other figure drawing. This is one of her papers, and I just covered the book with that. And then I got you know another partial or whole Jane book here. <laughs> okay, so those are my Jane books. And uh, I'm not sure where my... Well, I don't really want to take the time to show you the other one right now with the... Uh, I can't even think of her name that does the home decor. When I took a part two of the home decor books, I <laughs> did the same thing, made it a commonplace book. So I hope y'all enjoyed doing the Galaxy Girls coloring today. And I will post it on Instagram and along with a picture of the book and, uh, and the pan pastels that are sitting here, I'll kind of make a little arrangement. And uh, yeah, if y'all have any questions, well, there's Edwin. Hi, Edwin. 
If y'all do not follow Middle Earth Storytime, Edwin reads and Erotimus Flash, Elrod draws. And so one is drawing while Edwin is reading. It's amazing. And they, they went back to do the Lord of the Rings. They've done, I think, two episodes. All right, hold on, guys. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Let me go here. Let me go up to Middle Earth. I'm going to put it on my phone. Middle Earth. So you can see. Middle, oh, let's spell Middle, right? Middle Earth Story Time. Okay, so let's see. Let's go over to, let's go to the, here's, I think this was episode two. Yeah, I think this is okay. All right, I'll put it up here for a minute. Let me let me forward it a little bit. Good evening, good afternoon, wherever in the world you may be. I mean, to the disappointment of the onlookers. Run away now, said Gandalf. You will get plenty when the time comes. Then he disappeared inside with Bilbo the door was shut. The young hobbit stared at the door in vain for a while, and then made off, feeling that the day of the party would never come. Inside Back End, Bilbo and Gandalf were sitting at the open window of a small room, looking out west onto the garden. The late afternoon was bright and peaceful. The flowers glowed red and golden, snapdragons and sunflowers, anastaturians, trailing off over the turf walls and peeping in the round windows. I'm coming forward a little. Of rest, and then we will continue and finish up the chapter. As I've told you before, oh, the let's please. get past the ambulance <laughs> going through. Come, do as you promised. Give it up. Well, if you want my ring yourself, say so, cried Bilbo. But you won't get it. I won't give my precious away, I tell you. His hand strayed to the hilt of his small sword. Gandalf's eyes flashed. It will be my turn to get angry soon, he said. If you say that again, I shall. Then you will see Gandalf the Grey, uncloaked. He took a step toward the hut. Okay, so if y'all want to see more, you'll have to go over there and watch it yourself. <laughs> so um, look for the Lord of the Rings. He's done one and two. He's already done the whole books um, about a year ago, and he's redoing them. So he's done episode one and two. I'm not sure when he's going to do episode three, but he does other things in between. So he does other things in between. <laughs> oh, um, do I do a character sketch of Edwin? Um I've done his dog. I drew his dog. <laughs> I drew Edwin's dog, Zuzu, some time ago. It's on Instagram. But anyway, um, he reads all different things. But right now he's doing Lord of the, he's doing a couple books right now. I'm trying to get over to the watch all the Lord of the Rings. But he's in Hawaii. So his, you know, depend he's gonna he's trying to do a little bit earlier episodes, but he's six hours behind us. So he and Elrod sometimes come on late. But make sure, and uh, yeah, I know, right, Edwin? But you can always watch the recordings if you don't make it live, okay? So, all right, guys. Well, I am going to head out. Thank you, Pacola. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, y'all have a great day. Thanks for being here so while we uh, pan pasteled our uh, galaxy girl today. And I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. And uh, we will uh, see you on Monday. All right, guys. Bye-bye.